I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. You know the camera control feature in Betaflight? That's the feature that lets you access your FPV camera's menu. So you can change your brightness, your contrast, all those other settings using your transmitter sticks. You don't need one of those little joysticks that plugs into the back of your camera. That's the camera control feature. And it's so cool, but it also doesn't work like at least half the time for reasons. Well, I'm happy to tell you that Runcam may have just made that whole feature obsolete by releasing a product that actually just frickin' works right, right out of the box. Stay tuned. The Betaflight camera control feature was an incredibly, was, <laughs> it is still, an incredibly ambitious piece of work. And I got to give credit to Andre Miranov, or he also goes by D Hertz. He's the developer who, I think it was his idea. I'm pretty sure he did most of the work on it as well. I can give massive credit to him for coming up with a way to emulate these little joysticks. Here, I got one right here. To emulate these little joysticks using the regular IO pins on your board. You see, these little joysticks are, they're not anything special. They're just a bunch of resistors. And when you press the buttons, the resistors add up in the circuit uh, to put a different resistance between these two wires. And the camera puts a voltage onto one of the pins and then the voltage flows through the resistors and then a different voltage comes in the other side and that's how the camera knows which button you've pressed. And what the Betaflight camera control feature does is it tries to emulate this whole thing but it doesn't work really well. And the reason it doesn't work really well is that Betaflight is trying to emulate resistance by outputting a voltage and that's kind of complicated. There's a lot of little parameters you have to tweak to get right to get it working. And if you've ever tried to use this feature, you may have found, oh, for some of you, it just worked right out of the box. Yay, good for you, you got lucky. And for others, and I know this because you guys who bought my flight controller and you're trying to use the camera control pin on it, I know a lot of you guys, it just, you cannot get it working. And that's not the flight controller's fault. And I'm not just saying that because I'm selling the flight controller. That's not the flight controller's fault. It's just the, the feature is trying to do something really difficult. And it can't really, it, sometimes it just can't do it right. So what has Runcam done? Well, it turns out that if you have the right circuitry, it's easy to do it. It just so happens that the Betaflight flight controllers we're all using don't have the right circuitry. So Runcam have given you this. It is a little tiny circuit board here. Look how tiny it is. It's a little tiny circuit board that you wire up to a UART, a serial interface on your flight controller, and you just tell the board what you want the camera to do. And this little board has the right circuitry to make the camera control feature work right 100% of the time. So I'm going to show you how to wire this up. And I'm going to show you the first look I've ever shown anyway, if not the first look on the whole internet, the new Runcam Micro Swift 3, which actually has this circuitry built into it. So you don't even need this board. But if you have any other camera and you're trying to get the camera control feature to work, pick up one of these and it'll make it work for you. Let's do it. The board comes with a spare one of these little plug headers, and we're going to be plugging this into the Runcam Eagle uh, Micro, and we're going to be installing this in my Diatone GTR90 because uh, it takes a micro camera, so let's give it a go. Uh, and the wiring is really simple. On the one side, you give it 5 volts ground and the transmit and receive pins from the UART. And by the way, you're going to cross those over so. Transmit is going to go to receive and receive is going to go to transmit just like on any serial interface. And then on the other side, you've got OSD and ground going to the camera. It's really not rocket science. You just got to identify a spare UART on your flight controller by looking at the pinout diagram and so forth. Study the documentation. Conveniently, Runcam has given you silkscreen on the back to show you what the, the individual pads are since there wasn't room to put it on the front. When I first saw this, I was like, oh, there's no silk screen on it. How annoying is that? But no, they just put it on the back, so kudos. 
I like to use these spring lock tweezers for this kind of work because they hold themselves closed. You have to open them, they hold themselves closed. They're not good for work where you need a lot of pressure, but for holding a wire while soldering, they're really fantastic. Um, I've got these linked on my Ultimate FPV shopping list website where I make all kinds of products. So people always ask me what kind of, what's the best motors, what's the best flight controller, and what kind of tools do you use when you solder. So I made a website, um, and the link is in the video description. Uh, these and many other tools that I think are good are there. And this, this is Blue Tack, in case you're wondering, it's also on that list, and the supplies page, and it is great for soldering when you want to just hold something down so it doesn't move while you're soldering. I continue to be really impressed with the uh, Diatone GTR90, not just for its flight performance, which is good, but I mean, there's the, the Baby Hawk is also good. I'm really impressed with how the flight controller and the whole electronics are specced out. Um, like, I looked up the pinout diagram for this flight controller and found that although there's not enough room for them to silk screen it, they did put an extra TX and RX pad. So this is RX6 and TX6 right here. Very nice. And even on these very small flight controllers, the designers take the time to give you the extra pads to do peripheral functions, especially because it's a ready to fly. It will be really easy for Diatone to go, ah, screw you guys. You know, we made it how we want it and not give you any extra functions. But they didn't do that. That's really good. So we're going to be soldering this up to RX6 and TX6. Any spare UART will do. And then let's see what we can do here. Just, just give it some twists, I think. And... I mean, maybe I should see if it works before I cement it into place. But hey, let's live dangerous. How hard could it be, right? Boom. Got that there. Perfect. Just stuck onto the back of the camera. And then we'll just solder this up. Here I am in Betaflight. And uh, the first thing you'll see is that my Betaflight version, which you can see right up here, my firmware version is 321, which I need to be on 3.3 in order to use this feature. So I'll do a quick upgrade here and I'll show you how I do the upgrade. So I'm going to go to the ports tab and on UART 6, which is the UART, that's the one spare UART I'm not using, I'm going to choose the peripheral run cam device. And that's this type of device. And then it should just freaking work. All right, well, when I first tried to do this, it wasn't working, but then I kind of like power cycled everything and then it suddenly started working. I don't know, uh, but it's working for me now exactly as it should. So to enter the camera control mode, I'm gonna put the throttle to center and I'm gonna push to the right. And what you'll see is that this blue LED comes on here. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up, but this blue LED comes on, and that means you're in camera control mode. And at that point, you can, let me get my goggles here so I can see what I'm doing. You can operate these sticks just like it was the little joystick that you plug in. So, for example, uh, to click the button, you push to the right, and then you use the right joystick to go up, down, left, right, exactly as you would with a with a regular joystick give me that button there we go yeah you could do exactly how whatever you want it just works fantastic huh oh whoops. no click the button there and then when you're done and you want to get your control back you just push to the left with the joystick and you see the blue led goes off camera control now you can have it for let me take these silly things off <laughs> camera control. If you have struggled with it before, here is the answer. Uh, this should work. This should work not just with run cam cameras because they all use the same resistor values. They all use the same resistor values for these little guys. So I think this will work with any camera, but don't tell run cam. I, they, they, <laughs> if you struggle to make camera control work, it seems like this is the answer. So I'm super pleased that Runcam made this. And, oh, I got to mention, yeah, whoops, I am, um, I didn't even, geez, I'm burying the lead here. Um, 
here is the Runcam Micro Swift 3, and you can see it doesn't have the OSD, it has the TX and RX pins, so you don't need the little board with this camera, and presumably other Runcam cameras going forward will have this built in. You just wire them up to a UART, and you're able to control the menu automatically. So I'm super excited about this. I'm a little bit sad that it has made, I think it's going to make the work that Andre Mironov did, I mean, it, it's kind of going to make it obsolete, because that feature is awesome for what it tries to do, but it actually, in reality, is a real struggle for a lot of people to get it working because the hardware is just not there. Runcam was like, I got to give Andre credit because it's like he demonstrated that the desire was there for this feature to exist, but the hardware limited his implementation. And now Runcam has gone, okay, okay, fine, we'll do it. And now they have, and that is super, super exciting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really happy that I was able to share this with you. I, I'm really psyched that this exists. I really, I'm going to just put this on all my quads now. Uh, yeah, I haven't, you know, I made the video about how to do camera control, but I haven't had camera control working on most of my quads because it's such a hassle to get it working. And now it's not. So I'm super psyched. Happy flying, everybody.